I am Teresa McKee. I'm the executive director here at Artung Grand. I've been here since February 1st, and boy, has the train been moving. There's been so many fun things happening here and a lot of things that are going to be happening in the future. I happened to come across here to do an art class, uh, the ceramics, actually. I had moved around the, the country, couldn't take all my equipment with me, and I was happen to fall into place with the ceramics. Started selling my work here and this position opened up which was perfect because I have a background in art education. I owned my own gallery for a while and uh, a teacher, this is the perfect exhibit, passionate for my heart because it's children and I like to find out what kids are, are, are doing with their artwork. This exhibit runs till the end of April, and we are very, very pleased to have Camp Autumn here. And this is our good friend, uh, Adam Liebarger, who is here to share with us about Camp Autumn and this great exhibit that the kids have put together. Thank you. Um, so just a, a little bit about Camp Autumn. So Camp Autumn is owned by Season Center for Behavioral Health. We're part of uh, the Community Mental Health Agency. Um, and we are a summer day camp, a therapeutic summer day camp for kids ages four to 21 um, who have some sort of a behavioral or, or mental health need. And that's the primary focus that we focus on. So we do all the fun stuff that you might think of when you hear summer camp. So our kids are out kayaking and swimming and fishing and playing sports and doing nature hikes and doing arts and crafts, of course, right? You know, and then um, we also uh, have group therapy that happens at camp and group skill building. Uh, my staff focus a lot on social interactions and emotional regulation, um, coping skills, that kind of stuff with the kids. Um, so our camp is very unique in that none of the families actually pay for their kids to come to camp. Um, so we do a lot of work in the off season and behind the scenes to raise funds. Um, and come up with various different funding sources for our kids to come to camp. So a um, couple stats from this past summer, we had 174 unique campers um, for a total of 256 camper weeks. And those campers came from 16 different counties here in Iowa. Um, and we used 15 different funding streams in order to for them to come to camp so that none of our families this past summer had to pay for their child to attend Camp Autumn. So we're very proud of that fact. Uh, for our arts program here, uh, we have 111 unique artists um, that are represented here with this artwork, and there are 234 total pieces. These pieces were all created over this past summer and some of our off-season events as well. So one day a week, we dedicated our arts and crafts time um, to creating pieces for this art show. So this show has been in the planning works for over a year now, um, as we've had to plan this with our camp families to you know, get releases and, and actually do the art over the summer and everything else. So we're very excited that it's coming to fruition here um, with Arts on Grand today. We're excited to be in here, part of Youth Art Month, um, and have the show through the through the end of April. So many of the pieces are available for sale, um, and any pieces that sold that money all goes to funding our arts and crafts program at camp so that we can buy more supplies um, and, and items that we need for to be able to continue to do um, our art pieces and our arts and crafts at camp, which is, um, you know, oftentimes a big part of a child's healing process. So the camp is located outside of Sutherland, Iowa. It's about half an hour from where we are right now. Um, and we serve kids primarily within about an hour radius of camp, um, but we do go down one week a year, we serve kids from Sioux City. Another week a year, we serve kids from Calhoun County. Um, and we have had the occasional child um, who has made accommodations to come up from like Des Moines area and stuff. So um, with the unique services that we offer, um, we try to be able to accommodate and reach out as far as we can. That it is Youth Art Month, and it's a, it's a nationally known, recognized time that we need to support and recognize our young artists. And it's not always the end product that we look at, but the process of experiencing different materials, expressing themselves, and being able to create, and that validation that comes along with it. And it's pretty fun to see them ex display their work along professional artists as, as well in this, this gallery setting. So they may come back for summer classes. They may be interested in coming into our spring open house that we'll be offering soon. And just to have other families see what's going on here in Spencer. It's, it's been kind of a secret of what's happening in this building and we have a lot more to come. So 
I'm hoping everybody will stop by. The reception is this Saturday from 11 to 2. The public is more than welcome to come in. We also have a camp presentation at 11.30, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, so at 11.30, I will give a little talk about camp. People can find out more about what we're doing, and if anybody is interested in uh, possibly, you know, for a child to attend camp with us, um, we can talk about that. And then we will hear from a camp parent and a camper, maybe a couple of them, um, and then of course be able, around to answer any questions and just appreciate and showcase our art um, that we have here. Well, again, we do have a spring open house that has not set the date yet. We have a new staff person coming on board, and we have uh, children's classes already online that folks can sign up for for their uh, kids and students. We also have a, an array of adult classes and workshops that have been requested, everything from paper making, print making, drawing classes, clay, how to write a biography, how to frame your artwork. So if you are totally interested or have any interest at all, please stop by, let us know what your interests are and we will find someone to put it together. It could be he here or off-site. I've done some workshops off-site, but representing the gallery. So we're open for suggestions. We are also putting together a whole music venue in the gallery in the corner here, so we can have a music. If you want to come in impromptu and play some music, we can do that. We're putting together a whole writer's cove in back in the corner. So if you're into writing or spoken word, we've got Voices on Grand uh, coming alive again. And then we have a whole new section of folk art which is a whole new area that we're going to be presenting this summer. This exhibit runs uh, till April 28th, and our hours are Tuesday through Friday, or Tuesday through Saturday, uh, uh, 10 to 4, and then Saturdays to 3. And then this other exhibit that's happening is our current artists that are selling their work and presenting, and they, a lot of these artists will present auto online, and they also have other places at the exhibit. So it's a mixture of artists that are already in, in the gallery that we promote, everything from jewelry to folk art to fine art and ceramic. We have a huge ceramic lab in the lower level and areas for a maker space, which we're going to be updating very soon. Well, I think it's just really interesting to come in and see art from the youth perspective. Um, and, you know, as Teresa mentioned, many different mediums as the kids try things out, right? So we have everything from stretch canvases, um, canvas boards, papers. We have art that's done on um, uh, wood products, pieces of trees, that kind of stuff that we've yes. done at camp. Um, so there's lots of different things here. Uh, paint, markers, crayons, all the stuff, letting the kids explore that. So um, I think it's really cool to come in and just see all the, the different pieces that go into it. Um, another piece that's really special about this project is this was themed around a poem by Allegra yes. King um, that is basically all about uh, how your love is medicine for this earth and it's you know our duty to kind of spread our love around the earth um, for that. And so that's where the name of the show came from, Medicine for This Earth, Medicine for My Soul. And that's really what I believe this artwork is. And we're excited to showcase that here in Spencer um, and hopefully have people from locally and afar come in to be able to view it and um, hopefully bring a smile to their face. We're excited to see everybody on Saturday from 11 to 2. Um, hopefully we have a, a big crowd and uh, get, to, get to share our love of art and our love of camp and kids um, with everybody who comes out. Come on down. It's a fun place to be and just hang on. There's all kinds of new things happening.